Hi everybody! I'm back! Yay! Um, sorry, I'm trying to get adjusted here. I'm finally back. It feels really good to be back here um, uh, drawing again. I mean, actually sitting at my desk, in desk in front of my computer and my iPad, <laughs> obviously. And uh, so I wanted to kind of just, since I've been um, doing this um, Procreate, I thought I'd just kind of Show, show it to you with how it looks when I'm actually doing it with my hand here. Uh, yeah, I will get back to doing it with pencils. I know you, a lot of you guys that are following me, um, you know, with my regular, here, let me just get rid of this, with my regular um, uh, coloring are, are mad at me because I'm, you know, not, I'm, I'm using the app. And some people even said this is like a video game and it's not art. Well, I disagree because... Um, even when you're, even when you're um, doing your um, pictures, you still, have, it's still art. You're still, you're still drawing it. You're still um, trying to uh, figure out colors. You're still, I mean, it's still art. So people that are saying it's video games. I, now the reason I want to do this is because I'm, I've got, I believe I've got new followers now that want to, um, that that enjoy using. Um, Procreate. So now I've got two sets of followers, which is fine because I still like I like using this app. So for the traditionalists that are mad at me, I'm sorry about that. I will I, I will do both, but that's just how it'll be. I'm gonna do both because it's fun and I do like it and I think it is art. It's just a different it's just a different way of doing it, right? And I like it because if I, if with my eyes, I can enlarge, I can enlarge it so I can see what I'm doing. So, um, you know, so anyway, so this is the picture here that I'm going to work on. Now, when I um, do my pictures, I set them up for Procreate. So when I make, when I make coloring pages for you guys, I make them uh, in a square like this so that you can either print it out to color it um, with colored pencils and then use the Procreate app, Procreate app if you want to, just to figure out your colors first maybe. Uh, maybe you want to just try different colors on, on the app first and then go to your colored pencils after you kind of figured out what colors you want to do. So there's a lot of uses for this app. Okay, so that's enough said about that. So this is another uh, coloring page uh, that I did for you guys, and um, so I just kind of thought I'd show you a little bit about how 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 I use it and how it works, and maybe we'll just draw a little bit and uh, do a tutorial on this, and then you could print it out. And now what's cool about this is here's where all the palettes are. So when I set up a uh, uh, colors for you guys. I'll make a palette and I can just share it with you. I just slide it over and I'll share it, share the colors. So when I upload this to Etsy, the coloring page, you can get the palette, the color palettes too, if you if you like the colors I chose anyway. Um, so I just thought I would just kind of play around here a little bit and see if we can maybe uh, just kind of get you acclimated for those that are new to the app. Okay, and for those that are already using it, I don't really see anybody doing coloring pages um, with tutorials, so um, I will do them. At least I'll try. All right, so this is our cute little deer here that I have, and I think I'll start first with this uh, little area here. Okay, and I want to get a little closer now, just so you can kind of. There you go. That's better. All right. All righty. So. First thing I want to do is figure out a color I wanted to do, and I tried out a few colors so um, just before I did this, and I have them already saved here. So I'm going to fill this area here with some red. Now there's two different ways you could do it. You can just color it in or fill it. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna fill it at first, and then you can go go back in and do more detail. You don't have to sit there and color in the whole entire thing red. You can just drop it in. Um, and then so what else I'm going to do here is let me show you. So I want to add a highlight in the middle, right? So what I'm going to do here is I go over to where my classic view is and I can see that my uh, red is over here in this in this area, right? So if I want to add maybe a little highlight, maybe I'll move, move maybe I'll move over here maybe maybe even a little lighter. And then I'll just take my brush and make sure I got a nice good size set up and maybe you know a little bit of an opacity and then I just sort of put in the little highlight in the middle 
to make it look like a little, maybe like a little red gem in the middle. And then what I do is I use a lot of the, um, of the blender, the little blender tool. So I just kind of put the pigment down first and then I'll use my little finger tool, the blender tool here. And then what I do is I use this for most of my, most of my work. The actual work itself is, is I do it with that, with the finger tool. I mean, a lot of people do it different ways, and there's probably like a whole bunch of different ways you can, um, you know, go about doing this. But this is just the way that I color on this thing that I've been learning about anyways since I've had it for a couple months now. I think like maybe maybe a month and a half or something like that, two months. So I don't remember. I don't remember when I got sick, but, um, but I did want to show you a couple things, though, that are important which I didn't do. So this is kind of good that it happened. So let me show you. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and undo all this and just hit the undo button, okay? And it gets rid of everything. Now the reason why is because when you when you set down your first layer right here, this is your base layer, your your ink layer. And um on your ink layer, you don't want to um uh have you don't want to mess with your layer because watch what happens if I take my smudge tool and I smudge it you see I'm ruining I'm ruining the 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 ink okay and we don't want it we don't want we don't want to do that we want the um the uh ink the base copy or ink layer or whatever just to say safe so what you, the first thing you do is you have to um set this what I do anyway is set it as a reference I don't know how other people do it. I'm not a digital artist at all, but I just kind of figured it out. And I just save it as a reference and then it kind of protects this layer, sort of locks it, I guess. And then I just set a new layer. So now any layer I put in, I could just drop it in here. Now I'm going to show you something else you need to do. So let's say um, you just pick a color and you drop it in, right? Now, see what happens? It got rid of all the under underlying lines the line art that was underneath so so the first thing you do is set this to reference okay so create a new layer but see where this little n is here that little n switch it to multiply see as soon as you hit multiply look what happened now you can see the line underneath if i take that off if i take this off and switch it back to normal see what happens then it's just all stupid again right so that's what we want to avoid so the way I figured it out is you just come down here and hit this to multiply and then there you go and then now you can see everything that's underneath it okay so now I can get back here to um, putting in the colors again or the the shade so I'm just gonna come back in here now and I'm gonna add a little bit of a glow in here to the middle. Okay. Yeah, we get because I, I remember when I just uh, when I tried to do a little video here for you guys before it wasn't close enough. So all right. So I'm gonna, now I usually don't care how neat I am at this point because this is what I use right here, this finger tool. I use this for most everything um, to do my my main work, and I'll show you why in a minute. But let me tell you how I set this up first. Over here on your brushes, I always use this soft airbrush, um, and I set mine up a certain way. And I could share the brush with you, but I think the one that comes with it was pretty good. But I just made some changes um, for me the way I like it. Um, but I could share the brush with you if you want. And then um, so set set your brush to the soft airbrush on your finger tool the same way set it to the airbrush and then on your eraser tool set it to the airbrush that's what I do I only use one one thing there's so many different brushes I mean there's light brushes and there's textures and there's all this kind of stuff um, which is cool um, so I but I, I haven't tried them all yet so I, I'm that I just haven't tried anything I, except for this this way so now I'm gonna use the finger the finger tool and I'm just gonna blend it and this is like I say this is what I use to use like most of the hard heavy lifting work is on um, with the um, the finger brush 
And that's why a couple of people made a comment that, that this is not art and that it's just a, a stupid video game wall. But it isn't because I'm, I'm actually, I mean, I'm drawing. I, f I feel the drawing. I can feel the pixels moving. I could, you know, it's, it's to me, it is art. Um, so, I mean, everyone has their opinions and that's fine. But, you know, I mean, I, I like it. I can't help it. Um, but yeah, I will do my regular coloring, you guys, and I know you want me to, and and I'm sorry if you're mad at me for trying this out, but I do have a lot of bunch of new followers that really love this um, app, so, and there is nobody doing tutorials on it, so I'm going to be, I will be doing both, um, just saying, um, so, and if you don't like it, you don't really have to follow it, you know. I'm going to add a little, just a little more shading there. Okay, um, now what I'm going to do here is if you want to pick a color, you just put your finger down here. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to go to the classic mode and get kind of like a shading color just to sh add some shade here. And the way I do this is I will um, just come around here like so. And then I put the pigment down or the pixels or whatever you call them okay and then what I do again see I get my finger tool and then make sure I have the right size and then I just do the blending with that see and then I just blend it all out it's got a nice little blend going and I'm shading it just to add a little shade to the sides, you know, just so it's not so stark with just one color. And I, and I always usually like will go down and up and just kind of check it out and see if I like how it's coming along. I'm just going to do this along the edges. And then get my finger tool again. And then But I do I will appreciate your comments and stuff like that. Um so please leave your comments for me um and try to be gentle with me because you know I'm a very sensitive person and like that comment that this is a video game, it's not art. Um, that one hurt me a little bit just only because it it is still art to me. Um, because, I mean, I'm still drawing and I'm still using my talents and I'm still blending the way I blend and I'm, I'm just doing it in a different, um, using a different kind of a medium, you know. That's all. But, I mean, everyone has, and I know how... You know, you feel. I mean, I'm a traditional color color pencil artist myself. I never even knew that this existed, but now that I now that I know, I can't. You can't unring a bell. I can't unsee it. And I, you know, been using it for so long, and now I have, you know, a whole new thing going on. So, you know, I get a lot of followers now that really like this app. So, I'll just do two different types of tutorials. You know. But, so, this is what I do here, and that this is kind of the process I use, and then I will go through, and here's my little smudge tool. And so anyways, I will have these um, coloring pages that I make for you guys uh, for Procreate, because I'm going to make, these are special, yeah, there's not that they're special pages for Procreate, but, you know, I design them so that they'll be, um, you know, a certain way, because if you want to print these out after you're done, um, you can print it out just like, and use it just like anything else. So I set it at 300 dots per inch, and I made them like a 10 by 10 square. Um, but when you print them out, you can print it out in your eight, on an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, and then, you know, just like normal, make greeting cards or whatever you want with your art or frame them or whatever, but 
So, and the coloring pages that I make are, they'll work for both if you want to color it with color pencils or if you want to do it on the app. You can use it both ways. So you'll have like two versions. One you can download onto here and the other one just print out. Right? I mean if you like the page that I put up for you. But since I've been sick, sick, I've had to, I've gotten in a lot of other things, you know. I used to only do nothing but flowers. Now my mind wants to kind of do other things. I did a cute little pig, um, you know, and it's just... Uh, yeah, so... I'm feeling much better, though, you guys. Thank you so much for caring about me and, like, all your just your love and support and all your emails and your all the all the nice things it's you guys are so great you don't even know how that got me through all this this was the sickest I ever was in my whole life it was just horrible okay so now um I think you guys got the basic idea here um if I pick another color let's take um like uh this is like what's equal to maybe a lime peel and I'll just kind of throw that in there. And then I will um, pick a shade color. So to pick a shade color, I will maybe grab one of those, maybe that one there. And then I'll do the same, the same process where I will put the shading color in. And you can see that I don't worry about getting it so neat at the beginning because I'm going to take my smudge tool. And that's the tool that I use to do my real blending work and I just blend it and I can make it a little bit bigger sometimes if you make the brush size a little bit bigger a little bit easier and then I'm going to go through here and just blend there you go, see? and then I just put my shades in that and then if I feel I need a little bit more, just add a little bit more. Alright, and then do the same thing. I use my little smudger tool like that. And then I just do the same thing all the way around um, the picture to get that to get that shading in. Okay, so, sorry, my son walked in, so I had to turn it off, and now it's back on. So, anyway, I go uh, back through here, and then I'll just add some more shading like this. And like I say, see how it's kind of messy there? I'm not really all that worried about it, because like I say, I grab my little smudge tool, and that's the one that I really, uh, it just cleans it up, and it uh, just blends it all in. It gives me a nice, really nice uh, shade effect. Oh, I just go on here like that, and then same thing. Just smudge that along. Yeah. And I'll do this. I'll just keep going around the same way. Do some shading here. Adding the shading is just, it's a big difference because when it's just the one solid color, just filled in with one color, there's like no dimension to it, you know? That's why I put in all this, the shading. Well, just like I do with colored pencils. It's all about the shading and the 3D effect. Now, I, I always have that same, I use the same mentality when I'm on this as I do when I'm on my color pencils um, and that's I always go you know light medium dark and darkest I mean a few of those pictures that I did on here came out really good I was I mean I was really happy with them so I just go like this here all right let's see if I maybe I'll put a little bit more shade down here at the bottom Oops. Yeah, 
Yeah, but there are a lot of different brushes in here, and I haven't tried any of them. Um, and different textures, like maybe I could fill... Uh, I was thinking about maybe doing that middle to make it look like a gemstone, and I think that there's some that have glitter, like there's glitter brushes, and if I want one to look like turquoise, maybe I can make like a turquoise type of a texture on the brush. So there's a lot. There's so much you could do on here, which makes it really, really so cool. And it is fun. And again, you know, I don't mean to bitch at you guys for, you know, being mad at me for doing this, but I just, you know, I mean, I had no choice because I was sick and I, and I wanted a color. I just didn't want to sit there and just do nothing and watch TV. So I was very, very grateful I found this. And like I say, now that I, now that I know about it, I can't just ignore it and say, okay, well, because I like it. So it's like, I guess that's how it worked out for me. All right, so now I've got a nice little sparkle going on here. Now, maybe I put a little highlight. If I want a little highlight on that green area, um, I might add a little bit of maybe, um, maybe, let's see. I just try different things and see if I if I like if I like it or not. I'll see again. I don't care if I'm messy. But, well, I don't want to be that messy. <laughs> Maybe a little bit bigger. There we go. I'm just gonna. So there's a you know the the line that I have here. So I'll just kind of go along that line and then maybe blur that out a little. So I'm just blur that out a little bit. It just kind of maybe get ah uh, maybe not too much. Gives it just a little bit of a highlight. Like a little glow on the sides. So, yeah, it's a nice little glow. And then maybe on this one here I'll put in a little um, try orange. And then I'll do the same. Uh, here's my eraser tool and I'll just use the eraser tool to maybe make a little sparkle in the middle. And then so that that so basically this is the this is this is the process. You just pick your colors and then um, um, what I've been doing is just for the just for the base coat, you know, like you know how when you're coloring normally um, you're usually put a base coat in first and then you know build from that. That's kind of what I do here. I put it in the, the base coat first and you could either do it that way or you can of course just use your brush and then do it that way too and then just and then so anyway so this is the process of how I do it and I'll just go along here and then after that one's done then I'll go through and I'll do some shading and I'll I'll shade this and then I might use my eraser tool and maybe add some sparkles on the corners of these little guys. Uh, so I just wanted to give you guys a rough idea of, of how I go about this. And I'm going to just put this video out there and I'm going to look for the comments. So please comment because I want to find out if you guys really want me to do more of these, uh, if you want me to do a full tutorial, you know, where I actually, um, well, just, just like I do when I do my coloring pages. You know, if you guys want me to do more, I will. Give you guys as much information as I, as I'm learning anyway, as I've been using this. So anyway, I'm just playing around, putting some colors in here. Um, so, and then like if I didn't like the red, I can go back and say, well, I don't like the red, and maybe I wanted to try. So I would hit undo, and then maybe I wanted to try. A, uh, okay, here's another thing about the palettes too. This is, I put my palette here because these are the palettes that, these are the colors that I use mostly for most of my drawings. But then what I do is like, I did a bird on here, so I put bird palette. This is the colors I used when I did the bird. And if I, if I start doing these tutorials for you guys with the uh, coloring pages and the palettes, I can just, like I said, go like this and then I can hit the share button. And so all the colors that I use in the tutorial, you'll be able to put them onto your Procreate and you know just follow along my tutorial and 
pick and choose the same colors. So, but I just need to know if you guys want me to do this or not. If you do, just uh, leave leave a comment and let me know, and then I will do more for you. Okay. So I just kind of wanted to give you a, another rough idea here on how this is all going down. So. Trying to think if there's anything else you guys need to know here. I don't think so. I think I pretty much give you my, as, I'm trying to give you as much information as I can. So, on this video, that's it for now. I'm going to wait to read some comments and see what you guys what you guys think. Um, but the, I, in e either way, I'm still going to have this coloring page available for you um, for colored pencils if you like it, if you like like it or not. It's got put. There's a gem up. There's a cool gem up here. Uh, it's a pretty cool picture. So, anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some knowledge and a little bit uh, more comfortable with using this um, awesome app. I think it's awesome. So, um, well, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time. And right now, I'm going to wait for some comments. Thanks a lot. Ciao.